All right, thanks guys. South Carolina State takes on Liberty. That's going to be a 6 o'clock Eastern tip-off at Liberty University. Now the Flames open the betting as the 24-and-a-half point favorite in the total at 136 and a hook. And since those markets open this one up, we're seeing a steady and consistent fade of Liberty in the early going here. We're also seeing significant movement upward on the total as well. Right now, Liberty has moved down to minus 21 and a half, with the total moving upward to 140 and a hook. So once again, the Liberty Flames open the betting as the 24 and a half point favorite. They're now minus 21 and a half. Total open 136 and a hook, up to 140 and a hook there. Now Liberty has been very good against the number this season. They're 6 and 1 ATS overall for the year. They're also 3 and 0 against the spread on their home court. Now Liberty 4 and 1 straight up in their last 5. They've held their opponents to 58 points or less in those four victories. Liberty also 2-0 against the spread as their, uh, in their couple games as the official home favorite. They're 3-0 against the number, taking on teams under 500, and they're also covering 80% of their games, taking on teams allowing more than 72 points per contest. Now, South Carolina State 0-9 straight up this year in their qualifying games on the board. Uh, they failed to cover in two out of the last four. The South Carolina State defense uh, has allowed 71 points or more in all nine of their games on the board this season. Now, total-wise, SC State, 4-1 of the under in their last five, 5-4 five to the under in their games on the road. Meanwhile, on the Liberty side of things, they're 3-0 to the under in their games at home, 3-2 and two to the under in their last five. So with all that said and done, I'm going to purchase the half a point slide it down and take Liberty minus 21 in the under 140 and a half in this one. With that said and done, I just want to uh, take a quick time out and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Tuesday's college basketball action. But before we get into some more of that, I just want to quickly remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with a documented win percentage of 60% for the entire year of 2017, you're certainly costing yourself some valuable information each and every day you're not subscribed. Now memberships begin at just $1.99 per month. There's also plenty of free content there as well, including my current record. So with all that in mind, uh, you know, I have a documented win percentage of 60% for the entire year of 2017. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So once again, please feel free to just pause that video right now, open up your browser. All you gotta do is type in patreon.com slash Brock Page. it only take a couple seconds. Link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you're currently watching me right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly make it all worth it. And with all that said and done, let's go ahead and hop right back into some more lines and personal leans for Tuesday's college basketball action. And just a reminder, all starts are Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Villanova at Penn. That's just right down the road. That's going to be a 7 o'clock uh, tip-off at the Palestra. That is uh, where Penn plays at home. But Villanova, like I said, just right down the road. So uh, we could very well have more Nova fans than Penn fans. But let's go ahead and get into it. Villanova opened the betting as the 7.5 point favorite with a total at 138. Since those markets opened this one up, not a whole lot of movement on the spread. We've seen it go half a point up and down, but right now we are at that original opening number. And we only, only uh, seen a half a point move upward on the total as well. So once again, Nova opened and remains minus 7.5. Total open 138, just up to 138 and a hook. Now, 61% of the consensus is leaning toward Villanova. 53% of the consensus is shaded toward the over. Penn is plus 265 for an upset win, and Villanova is minus 295 for some money line cash. Now, Villanova is just 1 and 2 against the spread, taking on teams over 650. Nova has failed to cover against the likes of LaSalle, Furman, Michigan, and Morgan State. Now, on the Penn side of things, they've been very good against the number in that Ivy League. They're 7-2 against the spread overall for the year. They're a perfect 4-0 ATS as the official home team. This Penn offense has been really, really good this year. They're scoring 87 points per contest at home. They're shooting 52 percent from the field on their home court as well. Now, Penn does have some marquee covers over the likes of LaSalle, Miami, 
and George Mason. And when it comes to the scoring, Penn is 5-40 and 40 the under overall for the year. Their defense is allowing just 66 points per contest. Now on the Nova side of things, a lot of unders for them as well. They're 8-2 to the under overall for the year. Eight out of their 10 games stayed under the post in total. 75% of their games away from home also stayed under the total as well. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward the home dog in this one. I'm going to purchase the hook, buy it up, and take Penn, the Penn Quakers, plus eight in the under, 138 and a half in that one. All right, next game. It is going to be Albany at Yale, 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off at Yale. The Bulldogs open the betting as the 16 and a half point favorite, total at 151 and a hook. Since those markets opened this one up, we've seen a steady and consistent fade of Yale, two point fade of the Bulldogs in the early going here. We have also seen a one and a half point move upward on the total. Right now, Yale is minus 14 and a half, totals at 153 even. So once again, Yale opened 16 and a half down to 14 and a half. Total open 151 and a hook up to 153 even. And at the moment, Yale is the $25 favorite on the money line. Now, Yale's been pretty good in spots this season when it comes to covering the number. Four and three against the spread overall for the year for their games that were on the board. They're also a perfect three and oh against the spread, laying the points. Three and oh ATS as the official Vegas favorite. Uh, Yale has successfully won in three out of their last four straight up. Their offense has scored, uh, is averaging 92 points per contest in those three victories, by the way. Now, Albany, pretty bad against the number, just 3-5 and five against the spread overall, 2-6 and six straight up for the year. This Albany defense is allowing 79 points or more in three out of their last four ball games. And scoring-wise, Albany, 5-3 and three to the over overall, 60% to the over on the road. Uh, that's due to giving up so many points. Uh, Albany, 5-0 and oh to the over in their last five straight as well. Now, Yale, 4-3 and three to the over overall for the year. They're 67% to the over when the line was more than 145. So with all that said and done, I'm going to take the uh, very chalky play here. I'm going to purchase the hook, buy it down, and take Yale minus 14 in the over 153 in that one. All right, next game, Grambling at UL Monroe, 8 o'clock tip-off. Uh, UL Monroe opened the betting as the 7.5 point favorite with the total at 141. And since those markets opened this one up, we've seen a half a point move toward UL Monroe. We've also seen a half a point move upward on the total as well. Monroe's now minus eight with the total moving upward to 141 and a half. So once again, UL Monroe opened seven and a half up to minus eight. Total open 141 up to 145 and a hook. And at the moment, Monroe is minus 375 for some money line cash. Now Monroe's been pretty good against the number in certain spots this season. They're four and two against the spread overall for the year. Two and one ATS in their games laying the points. This UL uh, Monroe offenses has scored 73 points or more in two out of their last three ball games. Meanwhile, on the Grambling side of things, they've lost their last three straight. They're just one and five straight up in their last six. Their defense is giving up 70 points or more in five out of their last six ball games as well. And scoring wise, Grambling, three and one to the under in their last four. They scored just 45 points in their last ball game, taking on Central Florida. Uh, meanwhile, Monroe is four and two to the under in their last six, two and oh to the under in their last couple of ball games. So, with all that said and done, I'm going to take the home chalk in this one. Very chalky play here as well. I'm going to lean toward UL Monroe minus eight. And the under 141 and a half in that one. All right, next game. Uh, we got two more to go. Savannah State at South Dakota State University. Uh, Eight o'clock tip off at South Dakota. Uh, South Dakota State opened <laughs> as the 28 point favorite, and the total at 179 and a half. And since those markets opened this one up, we've seen a three and a half uh, point fade of South Dakota in the early going here. We also have seen a one and a half point. Um, movement toward the under as well. Right now, South Dakota State is minus 24 and a half, total move down to 177. So once again, South Dakota State opened the betting as the 28 point favorite, down to minus 24 and a half, total open 179 and a hook, down to 177. Now Savannah State, just three and six against the spread overall for the year. They're covering just 28% of their games on the road. Savannah's also th covering 33% of their games when catching the points. 
They failed to cover in five out of their last six. Now, South Dakota on the other side, completely different story. They're five and one straight up in their last six ball games, four and two straight up in that very same category. The South Dakota State offense has put uh, up 75 points or more in all 10 games this season. They're 73 straight up in their games that were on the board. Now, total-wise, South Dakota, 60% to the over overall for the year, 5-3 and three to the over, but the line was over 145. Meanwhile, Savannah State, 6-3 and three to the over uh, for the year, 67% to the over, taking on teams, allowing more than 72 points per contest. So with all that said and done, I'm going to purchase a half a point, buy it down, and take South Dakota State, minus 24, and the over. 177 in this one. All right, next and final game for the show. It's actually on the board here. It is going to be Colorado, New Mexico. 9 o'clock tip-off at New Mexico. Colorado opened the betting as the five-point favorite in the total at 167.5. And since those markets opened this one up, not a whole lot of movement on the spread, although we have seen a one-and-a-half point move downward on the total. Uh, once again, Colorado opened five, remains minus five. Total open 167 and a half down to 166. Now, 63% of the consensus is leaning toward Colorado. 51% of the consensus is shaded toward the under. New Mexico is plus 195. Colorado minus 210. Now, Colorado 7-1 straight up overall for the year. 5-3 against the number. Colorado is covering 71% of their ball games when laying the points. Their offense is putting up 85 points per contest and shooting 49% from the field. Now, New Mexico on the other side, they're giving up a whole bunch of points this season. <laughs> they're giving up 86 points per contest on their home court, while their opponents are shooting 51% from the field uh, in New Mexico. Now, New Mexico has failed to cover in five out of their last seven. They're covering just 33% of their games as the uh, underdog catching the points. And they've also failed to cover in four out of their last five ball games. Now, total-wise, New Mexico, 6-1 and one to the over for the season, 86% to the over when the line was more than 145. Meanwhile, on the Colorado side of things, they're 3-2 and two to the over when the line was over 145 themselves, 3-2 and two to the over in their last five. So with all that said and done, I'm going to take the road favorite in this one. Give me Colorado minus five in the over 166 in this one.